Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater and today I'm going to talk to you about citing using APA style. In this video we're going to focus on citing websites. There are other videos for citing books and for citing articles. These are the sources you're most likely to use during your time here at UW-Whitewater. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. The last citation example we're going to look at is for a website. This is probably the hardest type of citation to create because a lot of the information can be hard to find if it exists at all. It's important to keep in mind that if you can't find this information, it's hard to validate that you are in fact using a reliable source. What you want to look for is the name of the author or authors, the date that the information on the page was published, the title of the page you were actually on, unless you're citing the entire website, and finally the link for the page. If we take a look at this example, we can see that the title of the page is near the top. It is who we are. Usually the author and the date of publication would be found just below the name of the page. We don't see either of those under the title of this page. In this case, however, we do have a corporate author. It's going to be the Direct Marketing Association. When you're looking at a website for an association or a government entity like the United States Census Bureau, that's going to be your author, unless you can find the name of an individual. As I mentioned earlier, there is no date of publication for this particular page, so we'll have to make a modification when we actually create our citation. Now we can create our citation. If you have a corporate author, you'll want to capitalize every word of their name and avoid using the short form, in this case DMA. If you don't have an author, you're going to put the name of the web page first, then the date, and then the link. You'll notice that because I didn't have a date for this particular page, I just put ND for no date. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using APA style.